Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I did a six ways to wear video, and this is kind of the series where I show you guys how many endless possibilities there are to styling even a minimal or curated wardrobe. So in today's video, I am going to be styling this shirt that I'm wearing right now. This one is from Power of My People. You might remember it from my spring capsule wardrobe video. I should just say that this video is not sponsored by Power of My People, but I was gifted this shirt and I do have an exclusive discount code for you to use by the end of this video, if you want to, I'm gonna put the information down below so you'll get 20% off all full price item from their website, including this shirt. Also, they recently lowered their shipment prices. So if you live outside of Canada, it will not be nearly as costful as it was before. So you should go check that out if you want. No pressure or anything. It's just a tip from me to you. I just know this shirt is going to be a favorite of mine all throughout spring and also through summer. It is made in a linen quality and linen is just perfect for warmer temperatures because it's just really breathable and comfortable to be wearing when it's warmer outside. Also, I really like this very kind of effortless fit, this very boxy boyfriend fit. My shirt is in a size extra small if you're wondering. Normally I would choose a size small or medium, but since this is made to be slightly oversized, I actually sized down in this shirt. So let's just jump straight into the first outfit of this video. The first outfit is definitely something that I would be wearing to work or during a weekend or maybe even if I'm going to some sort of casual family event or meeting up with some of our friends. Basically anything actually. As you guys know I work at a pretty casual work environment and most days I actually work from home. Um, but this is definitely something that I would wear to the office. So the first outfit is my white jeans from Everlane. I can't really hold them up and show you because I'm wearing them right now. So you'll have to wait for the cutaways. But I have styled the look with my cozy cardigan from the Danish brand called Part 2. Um, I'm not really sure if you can buy Part 2 anywhere online um, outside of Europe. I will have to check up on that. Otherwise, I'm gonna make sure to find a alternative for this cardigan and put it in the description box down below along with the links for everything else. So I would totally wear this outfit as it is without the cardigan if it's warm enough, but the cardigan just makes it a little bit more snuggly and cozy and warm, of course. And then I have decided to go in with my blush um, flats from my spring capsule. I just love this color at the moment. I'm all about it and I think it suits my monochrome and classic style really well. Adding just a pop of color like this is a great way of getting some colors into your looks without committing 100% to some crazy color. If you're kind of scared of colors in general like I am or if you just tend to choose the more timeless colors like black, white and gray, you guys know that I'm all about that. These are from ASOS, by the way. They are a couple of years old, so I'm not sure they're available anymore. But like I said, I'm gonna find alternatives for you and put them in the description box. So that is the first outfit. outfit number two this is kind of a smart casual kind of look as you might remember from my spring capsule video I kind of spoke about the kitten heel and I have a pair of kitten heels in my occasion wear capsule my mini capsule so these are vintage I bought them on ASOS marketplace back in December and they have the perfect heel height for an everyday look I could wear these to the office without killing my feet I think the heel is around five centimeters or something. So that's really a great number to go for. Then I have styled the look with my vintage Levi's jeans. These are also bought on ASOS Marketplace. And if you want a guide on how to find the perfect pair on ASOS Marketplace and how to kind of alter them so they fit your body if they're too big or something like that, you might want to check out my jeans video that I did um, a couple of weeks ago, maybe only a week ago. I can't really remember, but it's one of my rec most recent videos after this one. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know how much I love these jeans because I think they're on every other picture or something like that. I have then chosen to style the look with my amazing trench coat from Everlane. This 
in my eyes is the perfect trench coat. The color, this very crisp kind of fabric and it's just beautifully lined as well and um, it has a perfect length and the perfect amount of detailing as well. I love this trench coat so much. Also, it is made in a water repellent finish. So it's just really practical along with being a classic wardrobe staple as well. So if you're looking for the perfect basic trench coat, this is a very, very good option. And if you're wondering, mine is in a size small. It is slightly oversized, so you could size down in my opinion, but I kind of like this rather oversized fit. look I really wanted to play around with layers so I decided to go for my Breton Strike top from Everlane. This is just the perfect basic Breton Strike top. It is made in 100% cotton and it's kind of this heavyweight t-shirt quality. I even think it's called heavyweight tee on their website. So I decided to layer this underneath the shirt and um, just really like the way that looked. Really classic, very basic kind of look. Then I decided to go for my black Dr. Denim jeans. These are my cropped straight leg jeans and these were also part of my jeans fit video. These are made in 100% cotton just like my Levi's jeans and it's just this thick really durable quality so this is what a real pair of jeans should be in my opinion. Um, and then because of this sort of a very basic low-key look I decided to pair it with my leopard flats to kind of break up everything. These are from last year. You might remember them from my spring summer capsule last year. Then as a final touch, I decided to go for my Becca Boy cap. I still really like the look of this cap and I think it's a great way of kind of making your look a bit more fun and preppy. Levi's jeans and then also reuse the leopard flats that I just showed you. And then again to kind of create a more playful and preppy kind of look I decided to tie the shirt and this is again just to show you how versatile it is. You can actually do this with any kind of shirt and a pair of high-waisted jeans. I think this is a great and fun and easy way of making your look a bit more preppy. Like I said, I can't really find a better word for that. So again, I feel like I've created something really effortless and chic at the same time. something with my base fiber jacket that you probably also saw in my spring capsule video. This is a secondhand biker jacket that I found when I was thrift shopping in London a couple of months ago. And at the moment I'm just crazy about these sort of cream and beige colors because I think they look great together with my more monochrome looks. They look great together with light wash and dark wash denim as well. So for the shoes I decided to go for my white sneakers from Another Stories. I am so surprised to how well these last. I think they're around three years old now and I really like how they look st still. So I know some of you are probably going to say that I should clean these sneakers or that they're dirty or something like that but like I just said they, these are three years old and I actually think they look good that taken into consideration. Plus I wear these multiple times during the week and if you need just one pair of great sneakers, a pair of white, no logo, no fuss kind of sneakers is definitely my go-to. Um, these are not available anymore, not as I can recall, but I'm gonna find a similar version and put it in the description box down below for you. I 
always I try to make at least one kind of going out or special occasion look in these videos. So I decided to go back in and reuse my Dr. Denim jeans. As you guys know if you've seen my going out video, I like to wear jeans even for special occasions. I'm definitely a jeans girl. Then I have paired the look with my black Steve Madden heels. Again, these have a magic heel height, nothing that kills my feet. I bought these in Nordstrom last year when I was in San Francisco and I've uh, just gotten plenty of wear out of these. These are actually also great for everyday use during spring and summer, but they are part of my occasion wear wardrobe because I use them more for special occasions. I actually also wore these to our wedding in Las Vegas last year, so these mean a great deal to me. And then, like I do every time I want to amp up this bag, I decided to add my golden chain. And this is from a Danish website. Uh, they have a concept where you can kind of create your own bag. So that website doesn't really ship outside of Europe, but I have found plenty of these on Etsy as well. So I will put some links in the description box for you if you're interested in a chain like this. It's an easy way to revamp an older bag and make it look more exclusive in my eyes. how I would style this linen shirt from Power of My People six different ways using things from my all your basic wardrobe and then my spring capsule wardrobe. I'm actually considering doing a summer version of this video as well just because I know that this shirt will look amazing together with denim skirts, denim shorts and with tailored shorts. Um, all the good summer things that I have stored away, so maybe that's something that I will do as well. Otherwise, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for a daily outfit inspiration. I style my capsule wardrobe in various different ways over there, so don't forget to swing by. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe before you leave because I'd love to have you around. So, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys! Bye.